Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this lovely I'm cold makeup look and as if by special order, it actually snowed last night so we've got a really lovely beautiful winter wonderland here. We're going to start with a moisturised face. I've used my eye cream and my moisturiser, and then I'm going to start with professional. So I want to get as smooth a complexion as possible for this look because it's a very clean face makeup look. And then anywhere that we have any sort of redness or discoloration, we want to use a green or an orange salmon type uh, colour correctors, I'm using the green because that seems to work the best for me. And then you need a pale foundation shade and then your damp beauty blender and blend this all over your face. So that's our foundation done. Now we need to take the palest shade of concealer that we have for our skin. Don't just go and buy like a porcelain one if you have tanned skin, but I've got a C2 from Revolution, which I picked up from Superdrug. It's a very pale shade that does match my skin tone. So that's what I'm going to use today. And I'm gonna put it in all the places where I want the lightest area to be. So that's all the highest places on your face. So under my eyes. chin, between my brows and down my nose. And then across my jaw. And then blend that with your beauty blender. And then we want to take our setting powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent on a puff and just set everywhere on the face. And then you want to take your deepest blush shade and mine is Petal Power by MAC and you want to take quite a lot of this and put it across your cheeks quite high up in sort of a U shape like this. And then for your nose, you want to sort of tilt your head back somewhat and then really blush the tip of your nose. And then with whatever's left on the brush, contour down the sides. And that's how you get a really cute little rosy button nose. Now we're going to highlight the face. So I do my face before I do my eye makeup. And I've got this Anastasia Glow Kit. I think this is either the original or the second one she brought out. But this actually has a white highlighter in it called Snow, which is perfect for this look. So I take my highlighting brush, get quite a nice amount on there, and then I put this across my cheeks, down my nose, and on my top lip. And then take a really big brush and just blend all that in a little. Now I'm gonna do my brows really quickly. I just use this brow pencil from NYX. And you can make your brows as fluffy as you like for this look because it's quite a youthful look, so the fluffier the brows, the better. And then for the eye look, you really can just decide what eye look you really want. But I like to go for something a bit more frosty looking. So today, I'm going to try a little bit more of a frosty eye in the centre. So I think I'm going to go with like a natural sort of shadow, but then a frosty sort of half cut crease, something like that. And I'm going to take the Naked Basics palette using this grey shade. I'm not going to take too much, but I'm going to create a crease. It's a rounded shape. And 
where the natural shadow falls. So that's all for the shadow and I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and put it on my eyelid just to create a cut crease-ish. It's just to create a nice pale base for a shimmery half type cut crease. And I just blend out the edges and then I'm taking the pink opal pigment from MAC and a damp pencil eyeshadow brush and packing that on top of the concealer. And then brush away any fallout, which really doesn't matter. The frostier the better. Then I'm taking my white eyeshadow pencil and I'm going to use my tear duct and my waterline. Then I'm going to take whatever's left on the eyeshadow brush and just blend the edges. So that's created a really frosted effect on your eye makeup. So then we want to take our eyeliner and do a quite deep, high, crescent shaped line above our pupil and then a high, not outward flick, quite upright flick towards our eyebrow. Take your favourite mascara and create two to three coats on your top lashes. Then for your lower lashes, you want to get just the lashes, try not to touch the skin beneath because you want this to be a bit fluttery on your lower lash line. And then for the final effect, which I forgot but I've remembered now, <laughs> there's a cute trick you can do using the same shade in your top crease, you can put in your lower crease and it gives you a really rounded eye effect. So you want to take a brush similar to this, if you don't have this one, an eyeliner brush will work. And you want to put a line quite into the tear duct of this grey shadow shade where your eye socket is, so it's your lower crease. So mine's about here. And this gives you a really good rounded eye effect. Makes your eyes look bigger and rounder. So I've got quite small almond eyes. Like so, as you can tell, it makes my eyes look really rounded all of a sudden. And then to finish the eyeshadow, I take whatever's left on the highlighter brush and just brush it across and under my brows. Just to give a little bit of a glisten sheen to there. I'm trying to blend that because it looks a bit blocky. And then all that's left to do is lashes and lips. I've got these Lux Extension Lashes by Kiss, which are nice and big, round, fluffy lashes. So you don't want the foxy lashes, you want the big, round, glamorous ones for this. And then for my eyes, because they're quite small and almondy, and these are very big lashes, so to avoid cutting them, I place them quite into my tear duct, but a little bit higher than my actual lash line, so I don't stab myself when I blink. And then I place them actually not on my lash line this side either, and a little bit higher up into the tick on the outside. Like that. And I'll go do the other eye. Okay, so that's the big fluttery lashes done. They make my eyes look huge. And then all we've got left to do now is the lips. So for the lips, I've got a really lovely product if you haven't used before it's really really good it's a lip stain and it's Benetin so it's from Benefit and this is like a cult product it's been around for donkey's years and then you just want to put two coats of this in the very centre of your lips so you give yourself a cherry pucker like a little kiss now so I'm going to do a second coat of the Benetin and let that dry once again and then once that's dry, you want to take a clear or very pale lip gloss. I've got this pink shimmery one from MAC. And then you just put that on your top and bottom lips. And that's the completed look.
look. And then to start this look, I'm going to put on a scarf and a fluffy head wrap to give you some end shots. So I've got my head wrap and my scarf on, and this completes the final look.